In light of recent developments in the transport sector, tensions are flared between commercial drivers and commuters due to unapproved fare hikes. Some drivers voice their grievances attributing the unapproved fare increase to the soaring price of fuel and spare parts. They contend that these rising operational costs eat into their profits, leaving them with little choice but to adjust first accordingly. <laughs> Yes, yes. The fuel prices keep increasing. We do sales for our car owners as well. Some car owners even expect more sales as soon as they hear of the price increase. So we can't wait for GPRT to approve the fare hikes. It's like we are working just to afford petrol and for the car owners. Not too much, only 50 pesos. But we are being argued with the passengers and the drivers. And we get patience for the past year. Without them, we can't move. This job is dependent on fuel and sales. And so when fuel prices go up, drivers suffer without the price increase. Conversely, commuters have expressed their distress over the sudden surge in transport expenses. Many find themselves grappling with the need to allocate more of their budget to transportation, consequently straining their finances. It was eight cities, but now I just heard it's ten cities. I mean, it's more than what's supposed to be. So I don't know that the government to sit down with them, then maybe if there will be any negotiable negotiation in the transport, they should reduce it a bit for us. If you are going to work in Accra here, everything depends on transport. So this one, I feel like they, they would have uh, decreased it for us. So if they decrease it, it will help all of us. Uh, because the economy is hard. As it drifts between riders and commuters' widings, there is a growing urgency for stakeholders to address these concerns and find a sustainable solution that ensures fair and affordable transportation for all parties involved. Imanol Samani, TV3 News, Accra.